Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are doing Super Bowl Foods today. Snacks for the Super Bowl game. Yeah, let's get to this because I'm really excited because it's not the Super Bowl for me yet, but I'm doing this video to show you guys some ideas for the Super Bowl. And I'm kind of starving, so I'm excited for this. This first dish for the Super Bowl is pizza dip. And it's gonna be good, so let's get to it, man. All right, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put eight ounces of that cream cheese in here. We are going to sprinkle some Italian seasoning. I would say probably a tablespoon of Italian seasoning on this. And you can do this in a bowl, but minimal dishes is best for me. Now we're gonna take some Parmesan cheese, the shredded kind. You're not gonna be using all of this. So it can be stretched for other meals too. Say that's a half a cup. And I'm gonna smush it with a fork. Get everything mixed together. Now with clean hands, press it across the bottom of the dish you're gonna be baking it in. Hands are the best kitchen tools, let me tell you. I'm gonna wash my hands and I'll be right back. The next step, did I mention this is the easiest dip probably to make? You're gonna take some pizza sauce, however much you want, and you're gonna pour it over. Some people like a ton of pizza sauce. Some people like minimal, so you choose. Now you wanna take some mozzarella cheese. Sprinkle on top. I think this could probably be like a keto meal too. There's no crust, I don't know. Cut them up in smaller pieces so it'll be easy to dip. pepperonis on top and they're and for the rest of this mozzarella I'm just gonna make it pretty and put it on top too sprinkle with some more Italian seasoning this part's optional a little grated parm and that's all you do we're gonna bake this on 375 until it's all bubbly and pretty we made the pizza dip, but what are we gonna to use to dip with it? Well, we're going to cook up this baguette. It's already cooked, but you just bake it in the oven for 10 minutes. And we're gonna slice it up. And we're also gonna make some bagel chips for people who don't want a baguette. For bagel chips, get you some plain bagels. And you're gonna cut them like this, just slice them up. Preferably get the ones that haven't been pre-sliced. Mine have been, but it's okay. We aren't using all of these, so these ingredients can go further for other things. Melt you a half a cup of butter. Add some Italian seasoning. Garlic powder. All of this is to taste. I'm just honestly eyeballing it. Grated Parmesan. As much as you want. What we're going to do, we're going to pour this on the side and around. All right, we're gonna bake these. I'm just baking mine in my toaster oven. Shout out to mom and dad for the Christmas gift. Whoop, whoop. 
Bake them until they're crispy, like a bagel chip. Alrighty, the pizza dip is going. Next, we're gonna do a seven layer dip. But this seven layer dip isn't typical. I hate guacamole. Sorry, I know it's popular. I don't like it. Um, so instead of guacamole, we're gonna be using some nacho cheese. It's gonna be a good one. I like to use a mix of regular refried pinto beans and the refried black beans. Yes, get you a can of nacho cheese in some form. This is what I have, so this is what I'm using. And yes, I bake my seven layer dip. At this point, I'm gonna bake it on 375 until it's bubbly. Now I'm just chopping up the toppings for the seven layer dip. The beginning, the base of the seven layer dip is done. So now I'm gonna spread sour cream. A little sprinkle of cheese. More cheese. Seven layers, three of them with our cheese. Done. Easy peasy, see? Next up, we're gonna do some fruit salsa. First ingredient in our fruit salsa is strawberries. That's the base. It's going to be the bulk of the salsa. Bre breakfast salsa. Why do I keep saying breakfast salsa? Fruit salsa. The next ingredient is one mango, diced just the same. Next ingredient is kiwi. We're just gonna squeeze some lemon juice in there. That's what she looks like. Some people put preserves in their fruit salsa, apples, put whatever you want in it, but this is how I like ours. And it's that easy to make, it's done. We dip ours with these chocolate covered pretzels or the Stacy pita chips, cinnamon and sugar. Last but not least, we're doing pigs in a blanket. And this isn't your typical pigs in a blanket. Um, we all know the little smokies and get the crescents. I've made those before on here uh, for the boys for lunch before. These are not those, these are a little fancier, kinda. We'll be using some puff pastry and smoked sausage instead. We're gonna be making two different kinds of pigs in a blanket. For starters, 
cut each pastry sheet in half. For this first top, we're going to be putting some Dijon mustard on the pastry, and we're going to be smearing it all around. Now you are going to take one sausage and put it on each of those pieces of puff pastry. We are going to also seal it up with some egg wash. Put it up right there on the end and on the inside so it'll stick together. You're going to roll it up real tight. Make sure it stays. Do the same thing to the other one. Don't forget the egg wash or it will not stick. All right. And now after you get them rolled up together, just like you see here, you're going to cut them up. And little bitty bite size pieces. What well, kind of bite size? They're kind of big. That's like a couple bites. But anyways, I'm just putting mine in a shape of a football because I want it to be a little extra. Look at there. Oh my gosh, I'm so fast. Man, I should be like a superhero or something. I'm so fast. <laughs> now, you're going to take some egg wash. You're going to put it over the tops of these here. And just to distinguish which is which for the kids, I'm going to take some everything bagel seasoning and put on the top. Just so they know, this is the one made with Dijon mustard. The next ones do the same thing. Cut the puff pastry in half. And this time, I'm going to be putting some egg wash on the inside. Because I'm going to sprinkle some of that cheddar cheese you see laying there on the inside. Because this is going to be cheesy pigs in a blanket. And that egg wash helps that cheese stick and not fall out. So, once again, I'm just going to put my smoked sausages there. I'm going to put some egg wash on the end so they'll stick pretty good. Roll it up. Make sure you roll it up good and tight. Yep, just like you see me doing here. And I'm going to cut these up just like you see me do a few minutes ago. And I'm going to try, try to make this one in a football shape. It didn't really look that great, but you'll see. I'm also going to do the egg wash on top of these as well, but instead of everything bagel, I'm going to do just cheese sprinkled over top. So they'll know this is the cheesy one. Bake these on 375 until they're done. Now you can't tell me that these don't look bomb.com with that puff pastry. Like I said, a little bit more of a fancy pig in a blanket. And there's the fruit salsa and the little dippers for that. The seven layer dip. I said that awful funny. Anyways, and there is the pizza. It looks like that on the edges cause the cheese kind of bubbled around it. Bagel chips are done. Tell me this is an awesome Super Bowl food party smorgasbord thingy. Does this look like a good Super Bowl friendly table of food? Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey, Daddy, does it look like a good table of Super Bowl foods? Yes. Mmm, <laughs> mm. I will go. Brayden, who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Eagles. Daddy, who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? I'm just glad to be here. <laughs> Ryder, who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Kylan, who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Seagulls. Seagulls. The Seagulls? Okay. The seven layer dip was probably the best stuff I've ever had in my life. For real? Yes, it's so good. My house is disgusting. My kitchen. Looks like there was an explosion in it, but it's okay. Everybody loved dinner tonight. It was just a smorgasbord of 
Super Bowl food slash party food slash deliciousness. Everybody's favorite was the seven layer dip. Just so you know. And Dusty was going, oh my god, honey, you won dinner tonight. This is bomb.com. He didn't say that. But he said it was awesome. And he complimented it like five times. I hope you can lock these if you try them. Seven layer dip, do it. Do it. It's really good. But anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this. And I love you guys. And I'll see you later. Peace out. Remember, as always, stay positive. Be kind. Be happy. Let others be happy. And I will see you later. I love you. Bye.